Hi everyone, it's Phil here from Ashland Leather and I couldn't be more excited to show you some brand new private stock wallets that are gonna be available on our website tomorrow at noon central time. And these are gonna have a special extra treat for the holidays. We're gonna be putting these up on sale for 10% off. So everything that you're going to see in the video today is gonna to have a little bit of an extra added discount just to help us launch the holiday sales here. And if you're not subscribed to our newsletter, I highly encourage you to sign up there. I'll put a link in the description below but we're gonna be running some extra holiday deals around Thanksgiving time. You definitely don't wanna miss those. And again, everything that you're about to see in the video here will be available on our website at noon central time this Saturday. That's tomorrow, November 20th at noon central time. So we've got about 23 different items to show you. And what's different about this event for tomorrow is we're gonna have multiples of some of these items because we've been seeing people get a little bit frustrated when some of these things sell out and they do tend to sell out pretty quickly. So we tried to make a couple extras for the holiday special here. Now let's start off with an incredible Giant the Fox. Check this out. This is emerald green shell cordovan with a lizard texture. And I think that color and texture go really nicely together. Speaking of going nicely together, the interior of this one is a reverse black shell cordovan. And I know it does not look black at all, but that's because the reverse side of the black shells are this greenish shade. And we've paired this to pair nicely with the emerald on the outside. And I think that works really well. And another incredible giant, the fox here. And if you haven't been following what we do, uh, you might not think this is incredibly remarkable, but when I hold this, this is just a really, really special piece. This is a 100% natural shell cordovan giant, the fox. Natural shell cordovan is our most popular color for shell cordovan. That's because it develops a really great patina. This one has an exceptional look on the outside, extra nice figuring on this particular piece. They don't tend to have this much figuring in them, but the few that we picked for this definitely have a nice look to them. What's really remarkable about this piece is the interior. So the interior here of all these layers of shell, this is all natural shell cordovan, and we have to pick naturally thin pieces of shell for the giant of the fox. Otherwise, the wall is just way too thick. And we don't like to thin down the leather because that really reduces the strength of the leather. It tends to make a wallet that will rip and fall apart. And we're trying to make something that's gonna last forever. And here's another incredible piece. This is 100% shell cordovan again, but this is garnet shell cordovan. And this is the most red shell cordovan color that Horween Leather Company makes. And it's some angles, it's kind of interesting, it kind of looks like a color eight at the dark range of this shade. And then other angles, it sort of has this more like cherry sort of lollipop red, which is really, really nice. Let me give you a look at the inside. This is what we don't get all the time. You can kind of see the color range of the garnet shell here. Nice range from sort of a darker, like more of a color eight, and then more of that cherry red that I talked about. We do have a couple of these available. One more extra special Giant the Fox to show you. This one is 100% shell cordovan again, but this is the color number four shell cordovan. And for about a decade until Amaretto shell came along, this was my favorite shell color. Every time I see color four, I get really excited. It's kind of the similar vibe that we're talking about with the Garnet and color eight. It's similar to color eight. And the color four is really interesting to me because it sort of ranges, of course, as a medium brown, but it, it sort of ranges as the undertones from like a caramel undertone to a little bit more of a reddish undertone. And let me give you a look at the interior here. Color four shell cordovan. Again, it's so hard for us to pick the naturally thin pieces of shell for the Johnny the Fox interior. They're rare to get thin pieces. And then on a rare color of shell, it just makes it exponentially more difficult to get. Let's get into some more wallets here. This is a Fat Herbie. This one might be one of my favorites in the drop today. Check out this piece on the outside. This is marbled blue shell cordovan sitting on top of some raw denim shell cordovan. I think that goes really well together. Something about the green and blue together. With this little highlight of orange that's really nice. On the interior, I love the way that this reverse looks. This is reverse blue shell cordovan. We get this incredible die splatter. And this reverse blue is a little bit different than most I've seen before. There's a little bit more coverage to it where you don't have more of those light tones. It's more blue and green all over the place. I think that's a really great, almost tie-dyed look. And I have a few more Fat Herbies to show you, but this is a tall Herbie. It's a little bit different than our standard Fat Herbie where we have the bill slot on the outside here that extends all the way to the top. And that's, it's really cool. I'm actually wearing one of these in the M's Chrome XL right now. But this is really nice because you get an opportunity to show off an extra large context of shell here with that huge tall Herbie pattern on the exterior here. And especially a leather here, like the Western textured black shell cordovan, seeing all that extra context makes it really special. The inside here is what I think is really successful. I love the look here with the Western black shell 
on top of some whiskey western hidden card slots and that's a lot of words here but i love the way that this looks because it's sort of when you see this guy in person it sort of plays off the look of the waxed and burnished edges with that whiskey on the inside it's almost this frame sort of highlighted look uh, with the same color tones and i think it's really beautiful another interesting tall herbie in a western makeup here this is western garnet shell cordovan I haven't seen too much of this and that's a really great shade i think something about the texture being impressed into the garnet shells sort of accentuate that red tone in the color it's almost like it squeezes the color out of the shell which is very 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 interesting it does have that dynamic sort of color shift where it ranges a little bit more brown a little bit darker red to that lighter more lollipop sort of cherry red on the interior here this is really cool it's, it's for some reason superman came to my mind when i saw this but the red and blue combination on the interior here i thought was really really neat and then the other thing i like about the tall tonies is we get this consistent look of shell or leather on the inside and outside. We have an opportunity to get this look across the center because normally you're seeing this piece flipped around either on the backside or on the inside. One more incredible tall Herbie to show you. This one has a lot of adjectives to describe it. So we've got marbled black shell cordovan and this one has a Western texture impressed on top of that marble shell. And it's really, really neat. This one's sort of difficult. I noticed in the photography that I took of these, the color doesn't show up at all angles. So we get this contrast of the orangey tan, the sort of undertones, the light range of the color to that more black color. And there's almost little bits of green in between. And depending on what angle you look at it, the color really, really changes. Take a look at the inside here. This is incredible. So we've got more of that marbled black shell with the Western texture on it on top of some black shell with the Western. Two more fat Herbies to show you. These are our standard Herbies with the uh, exterior thumb notch on the bill slot. This one first is Cigar Shell Cordovan, which is a fan favorite. We get a lot of people asking us for Cigar Shell, but you notice the bill slot here on the back is flipped backwards. And this is also Cigar Shell Cordovan, but it is the reverse side of the cigar. The reason we did that is we wanted to show you the Horwin USA stamp on the back. And this is something that's hard for us to cut into every wallet. We get a lot of people looking for this, so we decided to cut it into this one. Take a look at the inside here with the Cigar Shell Cordovan for the card holders. And Cigar Shell kind of reminds me of Color 8, but there's much less red and burgundy in the cigar when you compare it to color eight and the final fat herbie for tomorrow's drop this might be one of the nicest pieces of shell that i've ever seen if you've been watching the videos following along for the last bit we had a batch of garnet shell cordovan that's what this is cut from it's just some of the nicest shells that i've ever seen incredibly rich feel incredibly nice bright shiny look it almost looks fake especially in person. It's just a really nice piece of leather. On the interior here, more garnet shell cordovan. Now here's a special item that we have not yet released as a standard item on our website. This is what we call the coin pouch, and I really like this one. I actually find this to be a better alternative to our machine gun jack card holder. The interior of this coin pouch, it actually will fit credit cards and US dollars uh, folded in half very nicely inside of here and I think the form factor of this guy is just about perfect This English hand Dublin is really really nice as well So we made a nice little private stock batch of these and we're bringing back our Bic lighters with leather sheaths This is some of that reverse blue shell cordovan I was talking about before that I absolutely love and we've got that sort of enveloping a Bic lighter on the inside People have been digging the lighter sheaths from us so We're bringing them back for the private stock and we also have a couple in the reverse ultraviolet I really like the look of the reverse ultraviolet. The die marks on this are really nice. And check this out. We've got a Tony the Ant in denim blue shell cordovan. This is the lighter blue shade that Horween is currently making. I think this is the lightest shade they currently make of a blue. And it's it's really nice. A great piece of shell here. On the interior, we have reverse shell cordovan. I really like the die marks on reverse shell cordovan. I also like how the reverse shell cordovan wears in and ages. It develops a really nice patina. And I have three Capone money clips. I'm going to show you the one first that absolutely stunned me. This is a Capone money clip in green Dublin. And the Dublin here has an extra amount of grain character. It's really nice. I like what Amir, who made this, what he has done. He's made a nice contrast with the tan and green together. So we've got this sort of light, sandy, tan, beige thread color. 
uh, to complement the green on the outside and on the inside. The other thing I really like about this, and I hope it shows up nicely on the video, this is an antique brass piece of hardware. The money clip here is not a standard brass. It's got a little bit more of an aged look to it, and I think it pairs perfectly with this green Dublin. Another great Capone money clip here. Check this out. This is the new inverted black shell cordovan. You get these sort of like, it's almost like a combination of marbled shell cordovan and reverse shell cordovan, this inverted shell. It's really neat. You get these random bits of die marks. And we've got that sitting on another rare piece of shell. This is Kia shell cordovan. It's like a pale green color. Really, really cool. It reminds me of the the color of the reverse black shell cordovan, that greenish sort of bronzy look. And on the inside here, more of the inverted black shell cordovan. I'm gonna try my best to show you all the random die marks in here because it's kind of hard to capture at certain angles. And I have one more Capone money clip to show you. Again, this is the denim blue shell cordovan. Really nice aqua blue shade and it sort of ranges to a little bit of a darker navy at certain angles. On the interior, more of that same piece of leather. And you can see on the reverse side in the center, the reverse denim has this great look that pairs very well with the denim blue shell. And here we go. Ever since I saw this piece, I was so excited to show you this. This is again, an inverted black shell cordovan. But on the long wallet here, just like earlier, we were talking about the tall Herbies, you get this extra large context that shows off all the range of color and all the range of that random dye on this inverted shell that I think is extra special. I, I don't think a smaller piece of leather does it as much justice as this. So we've got the long wallet, which is incredible. Uh, with hand stained black edges and on the inside. I love this combination too. We've got black shell cordovan on top of that inverted black in the two center card slots. And these are actually the longer ones that are open all the way with the card slot sitting on top. There's something about the black shell on the inside of here with those black edges that make this particular long wallet super sleek looking. I really like this piece and I hope it properly comes through on video here. It's just a magical piece of leather. And keeping with our theme of private stocks and more stuff that you don't see every day, emerald green shell cordovan on this Frank the Enforcer, but we've alternated the middle card slot here with reverse green shell cordovan, which I don't think we've done a lot of reverse green shell before. I really like this pairing a lot with the green and reverse green. I think that looks great. On the back, it's a little different. We've got all emerald green shell cordovan and the emerald green is a new green shade from Horween, or relatively new i should say within the last year this is a newer green shade before the dark green sometimes red a little bit too dark almost black but this is a nice green vibrance to it and one more emerald green shell cordovan frank the enforcer to show you this one is emerald green all over the place this particular one looks a little bit darker at some angles you can see the card slots here a little bit lighter on the top and on the back more emerald green shell cordovan and i have a couple bugs moran to show you this is a Denim blue shell cordovan Bugs Moran. This is a little bit more of a minimalist wallet. I like this one for a front pocket wallet. And on the inside, we've got reverse blue shell cordovan. Again, I love the way that this looks. There's something about this look with the reverse blue that's just more consistent across the reverse side. I, I think it looks really nice, especially with the blue on the outside. And another piece here in the inverted black shell. Check that out. Really cool random die marks in the same way that we see the random die marks on the reverse shell cordovan. The inverted is the same sort of look, but on the shell side. It's really, really nice. You get that bright, shiny look of the shell cordovan. On the inside of this one, we have that same inverted black shell cordovan. Again, it's very difficult for me to be able to show off the color range in here. It's kind of hard to see in certain lighting scenarios. And the last item for the first holiday private stock event, check this out. This is a leather that we don't really do very often. That's why it's private stock. This is the Bold Orange Essex leather from Horween. And if you're not familiar with Essex, this was the original leather that Horween was making when they first started using the shell cordovan tree barks to tan non-horse butt leather. So basically what this means is this is a leather that's tanned using the same tree barks as shell cordovan, but done on sides. These are done on bovine. So you get that incredible veg tan character of the shell cordovan just in a less expensive piece of leather. It's also very nice. If you're familiar with the Dublin, the Essex leather is the same as the Dublin, except the Essex has an oil finish on it, where the Dublin has a hard wax finish. So you get a little bit of a different feel. It doesn't have that bright bursty effect. And on something like this orange Essex, you get a cleaner, more consistent, more vibrant color. And I think it's really, really nice. Great color for the, uh, the season right now. And this is our passport holder that I should have mentioned. On the interior here, we have two different slots. You can fit a passport or a field notes on the interior here, as well as a couple of credit cards. This item is another item that we have not yet released on our website 
website. It'd be nice to be able to uh, get caught up here, and make some standard offerings on the passport holders. I think it's our most requested item right now, and I just need to do a better job of, of getting it up there. So thanks again for checking out everything in the video today. I really enjoy selfishly looking at all these incredible different leathers and different wallets. Uh, I'm so spoiled to be able to experience this um, every day. And I can only thank you guys for supporting us, uh, for allowing me to do this. If you're interested in picking up one of these private stock wallets, they're going to be available on the website tomorrow, which is November 20th. Have to check my watch here at noon central time. So you can look forward to that. If you're signed up for our newsletter, which again, I highly encourage you to do, you'll be getting a one hour advance notice on these. And again, everything is 10% off. So that's uh, something we also never do. I'm not sure if we're going to do private stock on sale. Uh, it's something that we're trying to avoid because it's so hard for us uh, to be able to make any of these. Again, thanks so much. If you have any questions, leave a comment and I hope you have a good one.